Hello, I'm Hannah Kaplan, and this is the WCS Wild Audio Podcast, where you'll find reported audio stories covering the latest news and newsmakers from WCS's field sites, zoos and aquarium, and their conservation partners. We've got a great show today, so let's get to it. With all this strangeness, there's also beauty beyond words. That's how the famous scientist and explorer William Beebe described an underwater marvel off the coast of New York and New Jersey in the late 1920s. Today, Hudson Canyon has been nominated as a national marine sanctuary. But as WCS Wild Audio's Dan Rosen reports, there's still a lot that we don't know about this massive underwater canyon. Well, that's what it is. It looks like that little wall there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that Look at that. Really yeah, that. In June of 2021, NOAA, which is the U.S.'s National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, yeah. dropped an unmanned rover into the water about 100 miles off the coast of New York and New Jersey, and they streamed the dive live for we the public. We should leave it on there unless we're actively playing with it. I think also that yeah, we should be coming there it is. pretty quickly to the end. Nice. Maybe. Oh, look at that. All the anemones on it. They were exploring the Hudson Canyon, which is massive and rivals the Grand Canyon in size. It's the largest on the U.S.'s east coast, filled with all kinds of wild creatures. Yet many people, including locals, don't know much about it. At its deepest point, um, the canyon is 10,500 feet deep. This is Noah Chesnan, Associate Director of the New York Seascape Program at WCS. Which, which means, you know, if you were to stack Empire State Buildings on top of each other, uh, from the seafloor to the surface of the ocean, you'd need more than seven Empire State Buildings. The canyon is also seven miles wide at its widest point, and as you may have guessed, really important for local wildlife. There's a wide range of species from sharks and fishes to uh, marine mammals, you know, whales and, and dolphins, to turtles, deep-sea corals. It's this incredible habitat, um, and, and it's an important place not only ecologically, but also economically. That's because a lot of fishing happens in and around the canyon, commercial and recreational. And yet, there's a lot about this massive canyon that remains a mystery to us. Here's WCS's New York Seascape Director, Dr. Mary Kamhai. The Hudson Canyon is considered to be maybe one of the better explored submarine canyons around the world. Um, I think there are maybe around 9,000 submarine canyons. But Even with that, there is so much we don't know about the canyon. It it really needs a tremendous amount of investment in research and exploration. Uh, We don't know all the species that live there. We don't know what the uh, activities are, uh, human activities, or how they're impacting the canyon. We don't understand um, the oceanography of the canyon and how climate and shifts in in and climate change may actually affect the the ecosystem services and the patterns of of wildlife in the canyon. And so there's really so much that can be learned and needs to be learned about uh, the canyon. As of right now, Hudson Canyon also has no formal protection from stuff like oil and gas exploration. It's something Mary and Noah and others are working to change. The Wildlife Conservation Society's New York Aquarium nominated Hudson Canyon as a national marine sanctuary because of how important it is ecologically uh, and to help expand investment um, in research and monitoring uh, and exploration, uh, but also, you know, to, to help protect Hudson Canyon. So, you know, we are trying to make sure that there is no oil or gas or mineral exploration or development uh, and make that sort of a permanent protection uh, for for the area around Hudson Canyon. Uh, but we also see that there's a really important way to highlight the economic value uh, and tell s- stories of sustainable use and even, you know, encourage um, investment in like career workforce programs and development programs to, you know, support jobs in, in ecological and biological monitoring and other STEM roles. The canyon itself was formed thousands of years ago, when the Hudson River carved an incision through the continental shelf. Today, it's part of a surprisingly rich ecosystem that sits along one of the most densely populated coastlines in the world. Here's Mary again. Our local waters support one of the highest variations in temperature between winter 
and summer surface temperatures anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world. And as a result, we have a very highly migratory fauna that some species move down from the Arctic in the winter, others move from, you know, up from the south in the summer, and such that we have that overlap contributes tremendously to the, to the life that we have here. Um, with that migratory fauna, there comes a lot of challenges in terms of management, animals moving through the area, overlapping with some of the busiest waters with human activities anywhere. And so that's one of the reasons why we really need to become better stewards of these waters, because they're diverse, they're at risk from human activities, and we should, as one of the greatest metropolitan areas in the world should be embracing the wildlife and the wilderness right at our own doorstep. One way we can do that, say no and Mary, is by urging the federal government to officially designate the canyon as a national marine sanctuary to protect it for future generations. Something, Mary says, that won't negatively impact the local fishing industry. Our intention of in, in nominating the canyon is to not to have the sanctuary manage those fisheries but to have those fisheries be managed by existing authorities. One thing the team is hoping is that the sanctuary nomination will encourage New Yorkers to further embrace the incredible life just off their shores. I, I would say that one of the first things to do is to learn more about Hudson Canyon, right? Get familiar with it. And once you do, I think you're going to be fascinated. They'll be fascinated by what's going on out there and how amazing and diverse and weird some of the life is and how important these waters are for, for fish production, etc. Then tell people about it. Get your neighbors and your family engaged and, and, and share your knowledge and share your enthusiasm. Just recently, the Biden administration announced its intention to form a Hudson Canyon Advisory Council and put out a call for applications. It's a positive step forward in the process that will allow a variety of interested stakeholders to weigh in on the nomination. It's a process WCS hopes will end with a new sanctuary for the New York metropolitan area. For WCS Wild Audio, this is Dan Rosen. Today's episode was produced and reported by Dan Rosen with help from Hannah Kaplan and Nat Moss. Many thanks to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration for use of its underwater drone audio for this episode. If you'd like to learn more about the effort to designate the Hudson Canyon as a national marine sanctuary, visit WCS.org and click on Get Involved. The WCS Wild Audio Podcast is a production of the Wildlife Conservation Society. Please join us next week for a new episode, and don't forget to rate or review the show wherever you get your podcasts.